Hi Year 9s and welcome to another video from uh, Mr Hegarty and in this video we're going to continue with our work on uh, adding fractions and we're going to take things a little more complicated than we did in the last lesson. So write your uh, title adding fractions and classwork and your date and in this lesson we're continuing to add fractions with different denominators at level 6. We're just going to this time not work with unit fractions i.e. numbers with one on the top, we're going to work with no, uh, fractions with any number on the top. So just to introduce us to this, you don't have to copy the next example, but if I asked you what's the answer to one half plus two thirds, that's the type of question we're going to be doing. Now here's a picture to represent that. There's one half of a circle plus two thirds of a circle. And we want to add them. Now the idea behind this and it's the same as uh, our previous uh, work, is we won't be able to add these until the numbers on the bottom are the same. Or the way we can think of it is the units are the same. So a half and two thirds. What we could do is we instead of splitting this circle into halves, we could split it into uh, six. Imagine I split that circle into six, and now actually a half is the same thing as 3 6. Okay, now 2 thirds, let's split that circle into 6 uh, instead. So why don't we uh, line there, line there, and line there, and then it's split into 6. How many 6 do we have? 1, 2, 3, 4 out of 6, so plus 4, 6. Okay, and now we can add these. We have 3 6. 3 lots of 1 6 plus 4 lots of 1 6. 3 6 plus 4 6 is equal to 7 6, which is actually more than a whole. Okay, it would actually be one whole and a sixth left over. But we're not going to go into this side of things today. We're just going to leave it at that for now. Okay, so let's do three examples. Then I want you to do a set of questions. Here's question one. Example one. A half plus two thirds. Okay, the first thing we do is we take this number a half. We can't add these because the numbers on the bottom are the same. One lot of a half plus two lots of a third. We need to make the number at the bottom the same. So how we're going to do it, we're going to write a half here. And we're going to write the two thirds uh, here. And we're going to generate equivalent fractions for a half and equivalent fractions for two thirds until the numbers on the bottom are the same. So going across the top, there's one on the top, so add one. There's two on the bottom, so add two. One on the top, and then you add two on the bottom. And you might keep going. Uh, let's do a bit of work on the bottom. Add two on the top, because there's a two on the top, and add three on the bottom. Now, you'll notice, at this point here, they have the same number, i.e. 6, on the bottom. And we stop when that's the case, the first time that's the case. And we replace a half with 3 6 in our question. We replace 2 thirds by 4 6. And now we can do the question. Because a half is the same as 3 6, 2 thirds is the same as 4 6. But reading this way, 3 lots of 6 plus 4 lots of 6 is 7, 6, and we're done. Okay, so we have done that question, but over off at the side here, nice and neatly, generate your equivalent fractions. Example two, let's try the same thing. Two fifths plus three quarters. So we can't add them yet because the bottoms are different. So let's write two fifths over here, and let's write three quarters over here. And let's go up in steps, up in two here, four, up in five here would be 10, up in two here would be six, up in five here would be 15, up in two here would be eight, and up in five here would be 20. Okay, and just stop for now. I imagine four goes into 20, so we might be able to do this. Up in three here would be six, up in four here would be eight, up in three again would be nine, up in 4 would be 12, up in 3 would be 12, up in 4 would be 16, and up in 3 would be 15, and lastly, 
up in 4 would be 20. At this point we can stop. For the first time the numbers on the bottom are exactly the same. So we rec can replace 2 fifths by 8 twentieths. We can replace 3 quarters by 15 twentieths. And now we can add them. Okay, 8 twentieths plus 15 twentieths, if we count that up, is 23 twentieths. And we're done. Uh, last example, 3 sevenths plus 5 eighths. Do the same thing here. We'd write our 3 sevenths for this one, and we'd write our 5 eighths for this one. And we go up. So let's go up in 3 would be 6, up in 7 would be 14, up in 3 would be 9, up in 7 would be 21, up in 3 would be 12, up in 7 would be 28, up in 3 would be 15, up in 7 would be 35, up in 3 would be 18, up in 7 would be 42, and up in uh, 3 would be 21, and up in 7 would be 49, and up in 3 would be 24 and up in 7 would be 56 and we do the same thing down here up in 5 would be 10 up in 8 would be 16 nothing similar up in 5 would be 15 up in 8 would be 24 nothing on the bottom the same up in 5 would be 20 up in 8 would be 32 up in 5 would be 25 up in 8 would be 40 up in 8 up in sorry up in 5 would be 30 up in 8 would be 48, and up in 5 would be 35, and up in 8 would be 56. At this point here, we have a 56 on the bottom for each of these. So what we do is we replace 3 sevenths by 24, 56. We replace 5 eighths by 35, 56. And we just add them together, 24, um, 56 plus 35, uh, 56 is actually 59, 56, and we're done. Okay, and that's all I wanted uh, to do in the examples today. Here is the questions I would like you to work on. Complete these nine questions and get me to check your answers. So off you go using the same techniques. Thank you very much for watching this video.